I don't know if I'm doing the right thing over here by using rice as a base to deep condition but there is no way for me to know unless I try it. Hello MBBs, welcome back on my channel Natural Black and Beautiful. My name is Ruth for the new viewers. Today I want to show you how I prepared and I am going to use rice as a base for my deep conditioner. I don't know if this is going to be strengthened or moisturizing. I posted it on Natural Black and Beautiful group and uh, I had different opinions. Some found it to be moisturizing, others found it to be more strengthening. So I can't wait to try it and see what's the effect on my hair. Let me show you how I prepare it. So from researches I've made, rice flour or rice cooking rice, using rice to deep condition is supposed to strengthen the hair and also smooth the strands. It also removes frizz, leaving the hair feeling like uh, silky. It also um, repairs damaged hair thanks to its high amino acid content. Rice max should also improve hair elasticity, it reduces hair breakage and hair loss. It also has cleansing properties, so it helps to maintain healthy and clean scalp by removing buildup, excess oil and anything that clogs the hair follicles. So we start by preparing the rice just like the way you prepared rice to eat so adding uh, water on the fire and then pouring the rice uh, in it remember that our aim this time is to get the rice very very soft because we are not looking for the rice water but we are going to use the rice itself so before blending it it has to be extremely soft so just let it boil until it gets to the consistency uh, you want in case it is still feeling hard you can add more water so that it will get um, very soft and it will be easy for you to blend it in the in the machine so while the rice is getting ready i'm also preparing the herbs that i'm going to mix with the rice my favorites are moringa and uh, fenugreek i'm trying to use products that are very moisturizing that feels very moisturizing on my hair and uh, moringa and fenugreek are one of them so i'm just uh, heating them on the stove because when i add warm water to these herbs it makes it extremely easier to uh, to melt it makes the consistency um, very nice and creamy just like the way i want it so when i finish and the rice is also ready i put the i add the um, herbs into my blender and honey honey is an humectant very powerful one and i'm also going to add aloe vera gel that are frozen i will link up how to prepare it i thought of putting three but then i went with two and then added adding the rice to this mixture as you can see i'm trying to use many products that are very moisturizing oh i'm also adding uh, some either is tea tree oil or or um peppermint oil so i'm trying to add ingredients that are moisturizing because from what i've read um, the rice could be a little bit strengthening so after the first blend i realized the consistency was just too watery so i added more of the moringa powder in the um I was trying to get it thicker you know I love using my products when they are creamy and not when they are too hard or they are too uh, liquid after blending it it was still too liquid but I say well let's try it and see how it goes I just finished um, cleansing my hair with a mix of um, a mix of what of African black soap and um, uh, and the clay Russell clay it was very nice for my hair I, I love that mixture I'll add the link somewhere here so that you can watch how I prepare it and what is it so my hair right now is is, is so ready to receive this deep condition it is clean oh my goodness and soft at the same time so let's see how this big boy is going to handle my hair is a little bit watery compared to what i'm um used to maybe because of the water that was on the rice you know the rice was filled with water and i also added aloe vera uh, gel so it's a little bit more liquid 
but it's good that there is more water into it because in case this is going to be like a protein treatment then it will be better if there is lots of water in it so let's see it's really very very watery if my head likes the likes this i definitely have to add more of the powders like i think more of the fenugreek will be great if my hair likes this mixture so that um, it will make it uh, more thick like creamy you know creamy creamy texture is my favorite when it comes to um, applying products on my hair I don't like it to be thick I don't like it to be watery and most especially I don't want I don't like it when it is slimy like uh, like uh, aloe vera gel which is very very slimy like only fenugreek which is very very slimy like flaxseed okra all those slimy slimy things all right so i think this part has been well covered let me see yes so let me go on and twist this section I can feel in between my fingers the the slimy texture of the fenugreek but it wasn't able to really uh, how can I say to, to really win this battle <laughs> so I can feel it but it's gentle completely covered now with this uh, rice and herbs mix and now what I'm going to do is uh, to cover my head and uh, steam it for about 20 20 25 minutes so that my cuticles will open and can absorb as much products or um, vitamins and minerals and all the goodies that are contained in this mix. So see you in about 20 minutes, uh, which is going to be just one second for you. And then I will rinse out the hair, I will rinse out the products, and we shall see how my hair looks. Oh, wow. My hair feels like it's moisturized and strengthened at the same time. This is so strange. Now, let me talk about the rinsing. The rinsing was extremely easy. I mean, as soon as water touches the hair, the product was just uh, going down the drain. So it is very fast to rinse. Regarding how my hair feels, as I said, my hair feels both strengthened and moisturize at the same time so how would i see this where would i put place uh, this deep condition in the moisturizing or strengthening part now i have to admit that aside from the rice porridge or however you want to call it that i did i added many ingredients that are for moisturizing which were moringa which were fenugreek is in in the middle then i also added honey and aloe vera gel so i am wondering if i didn't add all these moisturizing products how would this deep condition be definitely it would be on the strengthened side than the moisturizing side so i'm suspecting that the moisture is given by the moisturizing ingredients that i put in the um, deep condition and not really because of the rice so i would place this uh dc using uh, rice in the strengthening category because i normally tend to put in the moisturizing category a deep condition that are only moisturizing as long as it has a little bit of strengthening it goes inside the strengthening group so this is all my hair feels 
good i have to admit but it is more of a strengthening uh, deep condition which i think it is perfect if you have high hair breakage due to lack of uh, strength in your hair because your hair is weak i think this deep condition is going to be work is going to work very well or if you are somebody who doesn't really like protein treatment i think this this also will work very well remember i'm a low porosity so i don't really need a lot of protein but i still need some proteins so this is all thank you very much for watching if you love this video or you like it make sure that you put a thumbs up you subscribe hit the notification bell and also follow me on instagram and on facebook at nbb roots god loves you all and i love you too but as usual remember to remain natural black and beautiful. Mwah.